let's see the five different situations happening very often in the restaurants. Number one. What if the dish served is spoiled or the served dish doesn't meet the guest expectations? If the guest complains that the dish served to him or her smells bad or spoiled or not up to the standards, the following procedure given are recommended to follow to give the guest best experience. As soon as staff aware of the complain, they must apologize to the guest first and then remove the dish at once and place it on the side station. Immediately, present the menu to the guest and ask if he or she wants to have another portion of the same dish or something else from the menu to replace the order. Make an ENTKOT with a special comments that records the name of the dish being returned and the dish which is served in its place as well. This KOT must be authorized by someone in authority, for example, chef or outlet manager must sign with full explanation. As soon as the next order has been taken from guest, place the food order in kitchen and correct the table cover and place the necessary accompaniment with full setups. Return the dish to the chef in charge with the ENTKOT collect the dish from the kitchen ordered by the guest. Serve the food to the guest and apologize again for the inconvenience cause. Number 2. What if the dish dropped accidentally? As you might seen, very often dishes fall off accidentally on the floor while carrying the food from kitchen to the restaurant, especially by the trainees or by casual temporary staffs. It draws the immediate attention of the guests dining in the area who will be observing the action taken. It can be a clearance plate or it can be a food supposed to serve for the guest. In this type of situation, the wait staff must have to deal with the guest and follow this procedure to ensure guest is happy. At first, immediately pick up the food container and place it on a tray. Take it back to the hot counter, inform the incident to the chef in charge, and on the way back get the pan and brush if housekeeping staff is available, if not do it by yourself. Inform the station holder about the situation, so that station holder can explain to the guest and offer some complimentary snacks till the food arrive to the table. Brush up the food onto the pan and dispose it in the wash area. Take the mop to the affected area and mop the floor. Dry quickly and make sure the area is absolutely clean. If a glass container is broken into pieces, collect the bigger pieces of glasses on a pan and clean the area carefully. Waiter must make an accident KOT by mentioning the name of the dish requested and the name of the person by whom it is authorized must be clearly mentioned for reference. Collect the new dish prepared from the kitchen and serve it to the guest immediately. Ask apology for the delay and the inconvenience caused. If the delay is quite long, then inform the manager on duty to give some discounts or offer the food complimentary to get guest satisfaction. Number 3. What if a piece of cutlery dropped by the guest on the floor? While dining, children, or at times adults may accidentally drop cutlery on the floor. In such a situations, this following procedure should be done. The waiter must immediately get a fresh piece of a preparate cutlery on a plate lined with cloth napkin or tissue paper and place the cutlery on the table. After that, pick up the fallen cutlery and take it back to the washing area. Number 4. What if the guest lost their property in dining area? While leaving the restaurant, some guests may forget to take back their belongings or drop something unknowingly. It is a usual practice for waiters to check if guests have left anything behind or on the table dine by the guest. If a waiter finds any article, such as camera, wallets, helmet, sunglasses, etc., he or she should not fall prey to any temptation and keep the article with him or her. The following steps should be taken when guests forget to carry their belongings. Check quickly if the guest is in the service area. If he she is still in the area, the article is returned to him her. If the guest has left the service area, the waiter hands the article to the head waiter or supervisor in charge. The supervisor or head waiter should check with the reception if the guest has left the premises. If the guest is a resident, then the receptionist may ring his, her room, inform that the article has been found, and that it can be collected at a convenient time from the front desk. 
If the guest is a regular visitor, the head waiter can contact and inform him, her about the article he, she has left behind. If the owner cannot be found or contatist immediately, the head waiter or supervisor should write a description of the article and contents in case of wallet or purse in presence of the security person and the person who found the article. As per lost and found procedures in hotels, the head waiter or supervisor must indicate the date, where the article was found and at what time with full description and hand over to security department, they will place it in a safe box until the guest comes back to take their belongings. In this way, the guest property is kept safe and can return back at any time on the next visit, however most of the hotels follow the procedure of keeping the guest belongings, maximum of three months. Number 5. What if the guest alcohol consumption is over the limits? This type of situations mainly happens on bar or lounge or in night clubs. However the waiter must need to follow certain procedure to solve it. Let's see in detail. The behavior of drunken guests may be identified by two way. One way drunken guests get louder and may become over friendly with everyone. Another way drunken guests have difficulty in walking. Their speech may be slurred, may argue and may have reduced muscle coordination. If a guest is suspected of having too many drinks, the following steps might be taken. A drunken guest may become a nuisance to other guests and harm the reputation of the establishment, politely refuse him, her a table in restaurant or bar. If it becomes difficult in handling a drunken guest, then seek assistance from other members of staff or security in removing person from the eating area, avoiding any physical contact with others. If the guest seems to be drunk, then politely ask him, her to leave the service area. In case, if the guest has already consumed part of meal and his, her behavior is not objectionable, then serve the remainder of the meal in the normal fashion, but no alcoholic beverage should be offered. On finishing the meal, keep him, her under close watch until he, she has left the premises. In this way, we can avoid the issues and maintain good reputation of the outlet, however it's a part of waiter task to monitor the guest alcohol consumption limits as well. I believe these five different situations handling in restaurant or bar might be helpful for you at your work. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more video like this, subscribe my channel Hospitality Doodle and click the notification bell to get all my video updates.